So earlier this week, a few of the local Target stores in my area restocked their shelves with Hot Wheels. They brought out some new edition vehicles and just some of the new cars. So I went a little crazy and hit up about five or six of the different Targets in my local area shopping for cars. So let me show you what I picked up. I got a 76 Greenwood Corvette. This isn't a new car. Uh, I just didn't have one in my collection, so I went ahead and picked it up. It's got some great graphics on it. I got the 42 Willys Jeep. It's a crazy looking casting. My intentions for this vehicle is to chop it up and convert it over for gas lands. 69 Chevy pickup truck. Man, when I saw this, I just grabbed it. Wouldn't mind getting a couple more, so maybe I can do some custom work with them, add some rubber wheels, and do some custom paint jobs. But for right now, I got one, so this will just go in my collection. Corvette C7206. Not much of a fan of the newer Corvettes but it is a nice looking car. 86 Monte Carlo SS. Man, that hood scoop, that green and black. What a great car. I had a Monte Carlo at one time in my life, so very nice car. Got this uh, Porsche Hybrid. Got a blue metallic paint job and it's got those blue anodized rims. Then I found a 92 Ford Mustang. So this is the art edition. It's got a crazy looking paint job and some orange wheels. Not a fan of the paint job, but it is a neat car. Then I got the Land Rover Defender 90. What a great casting. I haven't seen many of these. So it's awesome to have it in my collection. Then I got the Alpine A110 Cup. Cool looking sports car. Might get this one on the track just to see how it runs. Then I got a 95 Mazda RX-7. Just an awesome paint job. And this is one of the Hot Wheel Turbo Editions. Apparently Target is um, selling these Flying Customs. And there's eight in this series. I was only able to find three of them so far. So I'll be stocking the Targets in my area for the next couple months. Hoping they get a, another restock of these so that I can finish out the series. But there are some really nice cars um, just from the three that I've got. And there's eight in the series. We've got the 72 Chevy Love pickup truck. Great paint job. The bed of that truck is all tubbed out. Just looks awesome. 2013 Camaro. Good graphics on it. The one I really like though, and I'm happy that I got was this 57 T-Bird. This paint, paint paint job is just wild with those solid black wheels. I wanna to try to find another one cause I wanna open one up and put some real rider wheels on it and just make it a shelf sitter. Also at Target, they have this red edition and from what I understand, these are cars that are only sold at Target. There's 12 in the series. So I'll be doing a lot of hunting to try to get all 12 of these cars. But this is the, uh, the P1. It's got a great paint job. That red and white just really stand out. This is the Shelby GT500. With those flames and they go all the way across the front of the hood red glass just an awesome looking car and we got the custom auto 
red with white stripes. Little white wall tires on it. This thing just looks awesome. Here's the uh, Vulcan. I showed this off in a, a recent video that I got the green one, but now here's the red edition. And from what I understand, I guess these are exclusive at Target. I didn't know Target had their own exclusive line of cars. And then I also picked these up. I know I've seen these float around before. I've never seen them at the store, but I found two. I found a cool Corvette C6. And this awesome 55 Corvette. Blue in color with the red flames, red interior. It's just an awesome looking car. I was lucky enough to find three of the Hot Wheels racing team cars. I got the Ford Mustang GT with all the Hot Wheel graphics for the race team. I got the Grand Cross. And I got the Chevy Impala. Moving back to just regular cars, I got a 68 Camaro convertible. I got the Stinger GT. This car's paint job is like a metallic look to it. Great looking car. And I got an 84 Pontiac Firebird. I also found a Mad Props. I just picked this up. I like the casting. Uh, don't really have any plans other than to put this in my collection. But the colors just kind of spoke to me living in Arizona. Especially with those wings. I got a 2019 Corvette ZR1 convertible. Good looking car. And my best find of the day, a Chevy pickup truck with the patina, like the rust patina all over it. That was just a great find. Hoping to find a couple more of those. Also got some of the uh, licensed cars and one of the color shift cars. I'm not a big fan of the color shift, but I saw this uh, MIG rig and I just like the accessories that are on it. And I think this is going to make a great custom piece for either Gaslands or I might just use it as a uh, display car on my racetrack. But I just like the way that body looks. It's got a lot of cool accessories to it. And then I'll pop those wheels off and put those wheels on to a race car. And maybe just put some real rider wheels on this or something else. But cool casting. Finally pulled the trigger on the Ghost Rider. Seen the car before. I've passed up on it a few times. Um, this time I just had a little extra money. So I decided to pull the trigger and buy it. Most likely going to just add it to my collection. Found a Fast and Furious Mazda RX-7 FD. Really like the paint job on this. Just looks like a really cool car. I found two of the 67 off-road Camaros. And I picked them both up. One of these I'm just going to hold on to. The other one's going to get cracked open and turned into something either for gas lands or maybe just a custom display piece. Picked up the Led Zeppelin hauling gas. Not really a big Led Zeppelin fan, but I wanted the wheels from this. So I'll probably do a wheel swap and take these wheels and use them for a uh, custom piece. Just like how big those back wheels were. So 
and make something cool out of that. And I found the Jaguar Lightweight E-Type Carry-On. So I've started collecting all these transport vehicles along with everything else I collect. Uh, they're a little bit more expensive so I don't go crazy with them. But I do have a few of them now. Still looking for the Volkswagen uh, Type 1 hauling a Porsche. Hopefully I'll find that one day. Yeah, so this is what I hauled this week. Um, been busy going to Target stores, uh, going crazy. Not all the Target stores have put out their displays, so I'm going to have to start hitting them up a second time and seeing if I can track down some of these other cars that I'm missing. Kind of want to finish that Red Edition series and those custom flyers. But I found some great cars in their bins. It's interesting, Target's just putting a little end cap bin out. It doesn't hold a lot of cars, maybe a hundred or so. So they get picked over real quick. So I'm hoping they've got some in the back that they're restocking the bins that they have. And hopefully I'll see the uh, other stores that I went to that didn't have their bins out get their bins out in the next couple weeks. Anyways, thanks for watching.